Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Here with another Card Fight Vanguard for you, video for you guys on Card Fight Area. Uh, it's been a couple weeks since I've done one of these, but we've got a new deck that came out uh, with some fun support, and I want to try it out. We're going to be trying out the new Dragon Empire deck, which is Dragon Kaiser Vermilion, uh, also a Nurakami deck. And they basically just added it to Overdress, and it's got a lot of hype around it. So we're going to test it out. So we're going to draw our hand. Uh, this is actually kind of good. Uh, I'll send back one Phoenix. Mm, I'll send back rid of We don't need him right now. Ooh, two PGs. Nice. Alright. So this is the boy. Uh, I'll go through the effects as we go as we go through. Don't want to hold up the game too long. Uh, we're going second. This is our starter, Spark Kid Dragoon. Uh, it has the same effect as every other starter when we ride second. We get the draw card, which we're about to do. So we're going to draw. I kind of want to keep him for offense. So we're actually going to discard Rising Faith. It has a pretty good graveyard effect. And we're going to ride our grave. And we're just going to go right to battle phase and swing. So with Rising, uh, Rising Phoenix in the grave, I'll let you know what he does real quick. His, he has a drop zone effect. When either player's card is bound by one of my card's effects during my turn, if my Vanguard is a Narukami, I can Soul Blast one and call it to rare card. So it's a free boot from the draw. You can also do that during the battle phase, which is dope because that's like one of the tricks of the deck. Uh, it has an act effect on Radar Circle. I can retire it to give one of my units 5k, so it sets himself up too. And then. I'll let you guys know what Red River Dragoon does. Yeah, tongue twister. Because we're about to use him. Hold on, take this damage. Ooh, over trigger. I'll take that free damage. We don't need a whole lot of damage in this deck. The only card that we really want to combat blast with is, is Vermilion. So we're going to draw. Um, I kind of... We went second, so he's got that. Unfortunate. We're just going to discard that. Ride. All right, so Red River Dragoon's Vanguard skill. When you ride... Grade 2 on top of him, specifically Thunderstorm Dragoon, we get to search out our new order. This thing is one of the cards that makes the deck go. And then we shuffle. His other effect is a rear guard skill. I'll show you that real quick. Uh, when this unit boosts, if I have a grade 3 or greater Vanguard with Narukami for its clan, Counter Blast 1, choose one of my opponent's rear guards in the back row and bind it. If I did not, I get to Soul Charge 2. So it's cool because you bind it, you do not retire, so it dodges effects that stop retiring, which is which completely annihilates Eagle, which is one of the main decks of the meta. Uh, I'll go over th Thunderstorm Dragoon for you guys real quick. When this unit is rode on by a grade 3 unit, with only Narukami for its clan, I look at the top 7 for either Eternal Thunderbolt, which is our order, or a card with Narukami added into my hand. When this card is placed on Rearguard, if I have a Vanguard that is only Narukami, I Soul Charge 1, and he gains 5k. So because he's a pretty good beater, that also has some Soul Charge, because this deck does Soul Blast a lot. Um, we're going to guard that. We're going to take that. We're running this guy, Blast Artillery, because he's just a good Rearguard. Um, I don't believe I need another Counter Blast, so we're just going to guard that for So yeah, I guess that was a good, a good uh, idea. Uh, so I'll go over this card real quick. We're going Death Scythe, one of our support cards. Yeah, this is nuts. He basically, every time he did gets a non-trigger, he gets to keep going. Um, he gets to call out the unit that he checked, and he gets another drive check. So that, that's bananas, because he just called out a whole board. Um, 43, huh? Yeah, we're going to card that. Unfortunate because I didn't want to save the cards in hand. Alright. Now I get to show you guys what the rest of the deck does. So, Death Scythe. Continuous. During my turn, if my opponent has no front row rear guards, he gains 5k. Decent meter. When this unit attacks a Vanguard, if I have a Grade 3 or Grade 8 with Narukami for its clan, I can Soul Blast 2 to one of my opponent's rear guards and retire it. If I did not retire, I get to draw a card. And then I'll also go over Eternal Thunderbolt real quick. This is our main order. This card can be played from the drop, which is probably the coolest thing about this card. Um, when this, when I choose one of my vanguards, and it gets when my opponent's rear guard is hit, 
by this unit, it would be retired, and it would be retired by it instead of retiring it, which triggers a bunch of the other effects. And then continuous, when my opponent has no rear guards, my front row gets 5k. And if I play from the drop, it gets, it gets uh, 5, the, the order gets bound. So we're going to draw, ooh, we have another copy of it, which is perfect, because that's all right. And then we're going to write Vermilion. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to use the order. We're going to use the one on the drop, since you've already seen it. So now our Vanguard has the skill. Now we're going to use the Vanguard skill, Counter Blast 1. Uh, I get, whoa. Call this guy first. Counter Blast 1. I get to choose up to two units with uh, Narukami, and they both gain 5k. Uh, and then when my Vanguard attacks, I choose two of my opponent's rear guards, circles, and my Vanguard will battle his Vanguard along with the two rear guard circles. And then at the end of the battle, since I played an order this turn, I can discard a card and just deal a damage if my opponent has four less cards in the game or something. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have much of an offense, so this is going to have to be it. We're going to target these two and the Vanguard. Now we're going to Twin Drive. No triggers, unfortunately. But we're going to use his second skill, which is going to be us discarding. We're going to discard this guy to deal a damage. And now this guy is going to gain 5k from the order and 5k from himself. And then he's going to swing his skill, Soul Blast 2. Now we could actually could have gotten another attack because when I when I bound his units I could have soul blast someone and called out the Rise of the Phoenix. But I wanted to save that for after the game, so the rise of that attack will actually have some a little more beef behind it. Also what's cool is if I had gotten the over trigger and he had more rear guards, I could also attack those rear guards, because that effect to attack through multiple rear guards doesn't specifically target those until you defend an attack and he still battles them. It's pretty cool. Uh, 15k. Mm. We already drew off of this guy, so we're just gonna get rid of him. We have two 15k uh, beaters that we can play. Um, let's get that out. Ooh, heal trigger, nice. And we're gonna no guard that. Unfortunately, it means he's guaranteed to hit. Okay, that means no extra attack there. He gets that. He gets one extra attack. Oh, it's a counter blast. Okay, so he is limited to how many times he can do that. And then he goes. He gets plus two. Oh, uh, because he called a because he called a grade three. Damn. All right. So we get a damage. Oh, look, we get the heal. That's sweet. That worked out really well for us. You know, what? we're gonna take that one too. Because we want to see what the cards we have needed. We're going to draw. Now we get the Persona Ride, so we get the draw card. All right, we're gonna go to main phase. We're going to activate our order. Now we get to use that order twice. We use it now, and then we use it again on the following turn. Oh no, he has no rear guards. Oh well, I guess he still uses it to get 5k points. So we'll soul charge. Better if I had Death Scythe, because then I could just draw more cards, but I also had no cards in Soul. Now we have four cards in Soul, so we're not limited to anything. I wish I knew what that means. Oh, Fetty Rosa. During your turn, if your soul has a grade 3 card with Fetty Rosa in its card, now all your front row is 10k. Uh, so that's why his lines were so much smaller. And then he's got all the 
rest of them here. No, I don't see them. Oh, there's one. Oh, this is the ride line. All right, here we go. Playing big things. Journey. We didn't have a persona ride, so now our vanguard's still a little bit, at least a little bit threatening. We are going to go for the extra attack this turn, so we're going to go battle phase, swing 13 to the vanguard. Either has to take, take a damage or drop a card out of hand for 13. Alright, now we're going to swing vanguard. Oh, bomb, bomb, bomb. He's going to perfect guard the vanguard. Alright, twin drive. Triggers, but we're going to soul blast one. We're going to retire this. I was going to do that, but I'm not there yet. Just doing that first. Discard that one. Alright, but now. This gains 5k because you have no rear guards. This gains 5k because you have no rear guards. And now, we can attack with this. And we can attack with this. And that's our turn. We manage 4 attacks out of it. But that's basically what the deck can do. I have double perfect guard right now, so I'm not super scared, but it depends how many how many attacks he's gonna get. Because I have to assume he's gonna get four attacks. That's big. Uh, when the shooting reveals a ghost unit, you, you, you can call it. Okay, so it's the same shit. Um, Unfortunate. 
I gotta hope for the best. I actually want you to hit triggers. Do me a favor and just hit triggers. <laughs> nope, that's getting called. Oh, we lose. Shame that. But uh, this is probably my second or third time actually trying out the support. I probably could have discarded a, a less cards. I probably didn't need to discard that last time. But let me know what you guys thought of the gameplay. Let me know if you guys are trying. I tried. I tried it with front triggers. But it doesn't draw nearly enough cards, so instead I was going with draw triggers to try and have more fuel, more combo pieces. Uh, it's fun. I don't think it's anything super crazy. And if you guys want to see another video of it, I'll gladly do another video. Maybe try out some different deck cards. Like Eugene's in there for, for counter charge, but the deck really just need counter charge. It's only kind of less like one a turn. But I can also put something else for draw, something else for retire, maybe a power up card. Anyway, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. If you guys want to check me out on social media, those are going to be down below. That's it for me. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.